What's going on guys, Austin's Prime here. Welcome to a new video. And today we're actually finally gonna be going over our Q&A video. Um, by, uh, when was this uploaded? I don't know. It's been more than a month. But um, finally for you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and answer your questions. I'm gonna go through every single comment that is a question. And I will go along and ask. And I uh, hope you guys, I know I've had a lack of really good content lately. The only thing I did was the Wave 5 uh, review. I can't do Wave 6 yet, because guess what? We don't have Optimus Prime yet from Bumblebee Movie. We have everything but him. Unless you guys want me to rank Wave 6 without him. I don't mind doing that, if you don't mind. If so, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do that. Alright. Question number one. Let's see what we got. Dennis Vasquez. Oh, it's not even a question. He he said uh, for the car we should name the car Hot Rod. Hell yeah, I, I put hell yeah, I like it. One vote for Hot Rod. I, I like the name Hot Rod. It's just at the time I didn't know what car I was going to get. And now that I have the Accord, the Honda Accord, I don't know what to name it. I feel like Hot Rod wouldn't fit. So, um, I don't know. We'll have to see if anybody else leaves any other names. But yeah. Alright, here we go. From Go Get a Blue, we the, your question is, would you want a studio series leader The Fallen, Voyager Sentinel Prime, and Voyager Knight Armor Optimus Prime? Um, <laughs> oh, okay. For studio series, I'm going to have to go Sentinel Prime out of those three, but it has to be leader class. A leader class Sentinel Prime. I still have my Dark and the Moon Leader class in no Prime. And that would be awesome to have that studio series because would I could imagine how that would be crazy how more accurate they would make that look. But yeah, there you go, go get a blue. Uh I would choose uh Sentinel Prime, but instead of Voyager, Leader class. But I guess for your like ah, my my answer is Sentinel Prime. Because that's what I would want. But yeah. So yeah. Okay, here we go. From Dennis Vasquez, is there any YouTubers that influence you? Um, any YouTubers that influence me? Yes. Um, when I first ever got into Transformers, the one main YouTuber that was like, wow, they make me want to make YouTube videos, is um, Alex Yu from the Rage and Ronin Review, or the Rage Nation, two channels, but same person, Alex. Alex Yu, I've watched him since I was 10 years old. I remember watching him react to Dark of the Moon. I remember that he, he has a reaction where he was semi-drunk. I remember that, watching that with my cousin. We were laughing so hard. I was 10 years old when I watched that. So yeah, I've been watching Alex U for a while. Um, I need to go back to his channel. I'm still subscribed. It's just I don't have a lot of time to do stuff. When I get time to do something, I try to make a video for you guys. Or I sleep. Or work. Or something. But yeah, I'm going to go, yeah. For sure. Uh, him, and also recently, uh, the Alfonso Nation. Alfonso, he's pretty great, dude. Uh, I love his toy hunts. They're, they're epic. His epic toy hunts. They're pretty good. He uploads a lot. He's very good at editing and all that. And uh, he actually inspired me. The main thing he inspired me to do was to um, edit my thumbnails better uh, than I did before. Because before, I would honestly just wait until it is in a view of the aisle and yeah that's what i would do but um now i, I try to make it more for you guys but uh, hopefully yeah uh hopefully from birthday i get a computer mac and i'll learn more edit more because this computer is very slow all right once again uh dennis vasquez has another question for us what is your least favorite Decepticon and your least favorite Autobot and why? It's okay if you don't know. Least favorite Decepticon? I'm trying to think really quick. <laughs> I mean, probably someone that's like useless, like Brawl didn't really do much. Yeah, he had a cool fight scene. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen. I didn't like the Fallen that much. Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, the last... Quintessa. Quintessa. There's my answer. Okay, guys. This is so controversial. I've gotten to arguments before with fans. I do not like The Last Night. Like, okay, here is my mindset on it. I love it. 
because it's Transformers. I love Transformers. But at the same time, it's like, I don't like the movie. I didn't enjoy it. I remember watching the movie and there were scenes where I was like, whoa, whoa. But there were scenes where I'm just like, the hell? It's boring. I have so many mixed feelings. I was just super disappointed coming out of last night. But that's just me, guys. Um, like, yours. Yeah, I remember. Opinions. Don't be mad at me. But Quintessa, I can't stand her. She didn't give a toy. Did she even get a toy? She didn't get a figure. I just realized that. What? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Hasbro and Takara made a toy for her. So, yeah, she's useless. Uh, but I can't stand her. I, I think it's stupid. I didn't like the last night storyline. They ruined it for me. But yeah, there's my least favorite Decepticon. Um, is she even considered a Decepticon? She's a god. She's a prime. The prime of life. I'm gonna say she's a Decepticon. Least favorite Autobot. Least favorite Autobot. Who would be my least favorite? Cogman. Probably Cogman. <laughs> I looked over there and see my Cogman. That's all I could think of. Um, probably Cogman, guys. I. He's just real annoying to me. The figure from Wave 5 is way better than I thought it was going to be, but the characters just sucked, in my opinion. I didn't find him funny or amusing. He was just pretty irritating the whole film, kind of, to me. I might be exaggerating in the moment, so don't take my word for it, but, okay, the character's not terrible, but personally, I did not enjoy Cogman, so I'm going to have to go with Cogman. <laughs> Alrighty, next question. Oh. Wrong way. <laughs> um, who is your favorite Transformer? Oh, my favorite Transformer. That's so hard. I love Optimus Prime. I love Bumblebee. I really like Ironhide. I really like Megatron. But if I had to pick one, doesn't it have to be Optimus? I think my channel is Optimus Awesomeness Prime, guys. I also really love Rodimus. I don't, I'm, I don't have a strong connection with the character that much, but I, I love Hot Rod in uh, tra the Transformers the movie, and at the end, Arise Rodimus Prime. It's a, it's a Prime. It's either Optimus or Rodimus. Oh, and that question is from Yo Boy. It literally says Yo Boy. Um, Yo Boy, I'm going to have to go with Optimus Prime. It's my favorite Transformer. I mean, how do you not pick him? He, he's, he's Optimus Prime. I was about to say Optimus. What characters do you want? Okay, from Mr. Ray, or Ree, R-E, uh, sorry. <laughs> what characters do you want to see coming to Siege? Hmm, what characters do I want to see coming to Siege? Um... I think Jazz would be cool. You know what? I'm surprised, and I don't think I've heard anybody mention it. There's no Bumblebee for Siege. Like, every single toy line, there's a Bumblebee, right? Think about it. Except for Siege. It's just kind of like, hmm, pretty interesting. I, th I would really like to see a Bumblebee. And uh, the... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I would like to see a Bumblebee and maybe even a Grimlock or Dinobots. Or even Devastator. That'd be kind of cool if they ever went that route. Because I know we're getting Jetfire and Omega Supreme. So, if they did the Devastator, maybe it'll be like an inspiration from G1. Which would absolutely be amazing. So, yeah. There you go. There's my answer. Uh, yo, or Mr. Ray. I'd have, probably have to go with like Devastator, Grimlock, even B. I love B. You can never go wrong with B. They're even doing a barricade, I believe. But like, wave something. So, yeah. Uh, another one from Dennis Vasquez. If you were a Transformer, which one would you be? Who who would I be? Hmm. You know, I think I'd have to go with um, either Rodimus or Bumblebee that transforms into the Camaro because I love Camaros. I just realized that's a line from Revenge of the Fallen. Alice was like, I love Camaros. See, I wish I could do editing. I like, zoom in my face where it's like, eh. no, not. Right. I guess I'm the only one who thinks it's funny. Sad face. 
But um, yeah, uh, who would I want to be? Actually, I think it'd really be cool to be Grimlock. Dude, imagine being a dinosaur. You just, I'm gonna go Grimlock. That'd be kind of cool. Just be a huge. You know what I would want to be though? I'd want to be like a in robot mode, like smaller version, like kind of like Optimus Prime size. Just not like humongous. And then once you go to Dinobot mode, you just enlarge. Because let's be real, Transformers does not obey the laws of size. Um, I think that's a controversial thing, actually. I think I saw a video one time I recommended. It was like, G G1 Transformers does not follow the rules of size or something like that. And it showed Soundwave because he's a micro cassette tape that's like this big, but he transforms. But who cares? It's, it's free entertainment. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there you go, Dennis Vasquez. Dennis Vasquez. Next question. Edgar Ortiz, did you like Transformers Prime? And did you follow up with Robots in the Sky afterwards? It is a sequel. Here we go. Okay. I love Transformers Prime. My favorite Transformers cartoon TV show ever. I've rewatched it probably like five to ten times by now. I don't even count because sometimes I'll just be doing homework or chilling in my, chilling in my room and I'll put on Netflix. But I'm angry because Netflix took off seasons two and three. And I found out that found that out the hard way because I was watching the finale of season one and I was like, oh my god! And then and then I was like, yeah, ready for season two? Nope. <laughs> and I was just like, I was pretty frustrated. I was like, you got to be freaking kidding me! I was like, that's just a joke, man. It 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 frustrated me pretty much. But hey, it's okay. I'm gonna have to buy those on DVD sometimes. And to answer your following question, did I follow up with Robots in Disguise afterwards? I did at first. I watched. The first three or four episodes. And then I stopped. Because I absolutely hated it. I don't like it. Uh, it's... It's ass to me. I don't like Robots in Disguise. I despise Robots in Disguise. I won't watch it. I don't even know if it's still on. Or if they're like... I don't think so. I don't even know. Let me look it up. I'm gonna look it up for you guys. Let's look it up. Transform. That's not how you spell Transformers, Jimbo. I just call myself Jimbo. Wow. Transformers Robots in Disguise. Not the 2001 one. 2001 one. Yeah, that works. Um. Ooh, sorry, guys. I'm guessing it got discontinued, maybe? Because it says the last episode was November 4th, 2017. Unless that's the finale. I don't know. I'm not going to do research right now, guys. We're doing our Q&A. Alright. So, yeah. There you go, Edgar. Ed Edgar. I can't speak. There you go, Edgar. I love Transformers Prime. And no, I did not really follow up with Robots and Tigers. I did for the first few episodes. And I don't like it. I just don't. The character... I forgot the name of the girl character. Strong arm. I think she irritated me. That's just me, though. For the next question... Dennis Vasquez, what's your favorite Transformers film? Thank you so much for these questions, Dennis. Thank you to Edgar and Missouri and your boy. Anybody else? Did I miss anybody? I don't want to miss anybody. And go get a blue. Thank you to everybody so far that's asked questions. And I don't even think we're halfway through. So I'm. this might be a long video or split. So yeah, here we go. What's your favorite Transformers film? Bumblebee. Easy. Easy peasy. I have to pick Bumblebee. It's so many elements into one film. It's it's heartwarming. It's action packed. It's it, I don't know. I can't speak right now. I hate this. I get on camera for you guys, and I can't. All of a sudden, I just can't speak about how much I love the movie. I don't know why, but um, I'm gonna try. Um, yeah, I love Bumblebee. It's amazing. It it, it had me crying. It had me cheering. It had me happy. It had me yelling screaming freaking out like at the beginning of the movie with cybertron my god the story the transformations the not 10 million explosions happening i knew what was happening the the choreography at the end with the fight scenes the creative death for drop kick was beautiful and then shatter there's just everything the emotion the heart in it the heart of the film everything made me love it I didn't even like your comment. Bam. Like. So yeah. There you go. Dennis Bumblebee is my favorite Transformers film. And next up we have which 
Megs Productions, I see you a lot here in the comment section. Do you get bored with any of your older Transformers? Have you ever thought about trying to start a new series? Thanks. Uh, do I get bored with any of my Transformers? Uh, to be honest, kind of... Kind of not. Like, I don't get bored. They just kind of sit there. Like, I don't play with them. I don't play with my Transformers anymore. Like, I can not remember when I used to play with them. But I just keep them on the shelves, you know? I want to make them look nice. I guess one that I do get bored with are, like, like the flip thingies. Like, from Age of Extinction, the flip ones and, like, the little gimmicky ones. Not that I get bored with them. It's just, like, they're not the ones that I'm, like... Like, if someone's like, hey, look, I'm not like, hey, look at my collection. Look at the Titan series one down there. You know? It's like, I'm like, look at this Lear Class Studio series of Megatron. Look at this Jetfire. You know? That's exactly how it is. It's like, I don't necessarily get bored with him, but I guess you can say I do. So, there you go. I guess I'm just mostly the gimmicky figures, little ones. Um, I'm looking at my, like, first, uh, the Bayverse. I don't like calling it the Bayverse, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it for you guys. So, to make it easier. For the Bavers uh, ones, I guess ones I get bored with are really just the Crosshairs Age of Extinction Last Night figures. I'm actually trying to sell my Last Night figures. I don't even really care for those that much. But yeah, there you go. And have I ever thought about trying to start a new series? Uh, I have. I just don't know what to do for you guys. I thought about doing reaction videos, but reaction videos for like TV series. I filmed my Beast Wars episode one. But the footage on my stupid iPhone is screwed up, and so I'm trying to get a laptop, so that will never happen. But, um, yeah. There you go. If you have an idea for me to start a new series, go ahead and let me know down below, everybody. Next question. Thank you, Max Productions. From Roosevelt Ser Serrano. What are, you ex what are you excited for for the new wave of Transformers? I want to say you're talking about Wave 7. If you're talking about Wave 6, I already have all of Wave 6. And I love all of Wave 6 except for Prime, which I'm going to lose it when I find him. Um, but yeah. And um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Wave 7 because I already have Wave 6. So Wave 7, I'm excited for the new Constructicon because that's another one to Devastator, our collection. And then I'm excited for the Leader Class Dark of the Moon Prime. Uh, which, what else is Wave 7? Oh yeah, another Constructicon, uh, Long Haul. And then, um, Drift, I'm not extremely excited for it, but it'll be cool to have a Studio Series Drift. It's just weird that they did the helicopter. And then, um, I'm trying to think right now. I'm pretty sure that's it. They have, oh, and Dropkick, Dropkick. I'm excited for Dropkick, because we get an accurate looking Dropkick, not whatever that is over there. All right. Thank you so much, Roosevelt. Next question. Dennis again, what's up? Is there any Studio Series figures that you don't like? I don't like Studio Series Dropkick because it looks nothing like Dropkick. My sister was over here or last week watching Bumblebee, and I brought it out to her and said, who does this look like? And I paused it and put it up to him. She was like, is that supposed to be him? And I was like, yeah. She was like, what? <laughs> she was confused. And so yeah, that's one that I don't like. I'm trying to think if there are any others I really don't like. I don't really care for the dreads that much. I get them because eventually I do want to complete the entire Studio Series collection. Um, in my head, that's all I can think of, Dennis. That's all I can think of right now, to be honest with you. Uh, Dropkick and those dreads. Everything else I am pretty satisfied with. There you go. Next question. From Colors. Oh, that is just a conversation going on in the comment section. My bad. From Dennis again. What are you expecting to see in the Studio Series Devastator? I am expecting to see the most beautifully made live action Devastator ever. Because, uh, as you guys know, if you saw my uh, toy pickups um, a few months ago, we got the 2009 Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. He's currently in pieces right now because I have zero room for him. He's huge. Uh, but I just, I, I really hope these figures combine in a good way to where they're not floppy and flimsy. But I have high expectations for it. And I hope they ex exceed uh, my expectations. So yeah, that's what I'm expecting to see in the Studio Series Devastator. Thank you again. 
All right. From Justin Productions. Just saying that you should do a live stream whenever you answer the question so you can also answer questions that people put in chat. That is a great idea, and I actually told him that, but I, I put it LOL. I'm probably not going to do live stream because I don't know how to. So if someone could tell me how to... Oh my god, stop the computer. No, what did I do? What did I do? Okay. If someone can tell me um, how to uh, do that, then yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and actually go on to Justin Productions' questions. What's your favorite figure? What? Oh, what's your favorite all-time figure? Cool. That is hard. Okay, favorite all-time figure is between Leader Class, The Last Night Megatron, the only Last Night figure worth having, um, Leader Class Blackout, um, Leader Class Jetfire, Leader Class Megatron from Studio Series. Oh my god, I have to pick one, dude. I can't do it. I don't know what to do. That is so hard. <sighs> oh, I can't get a row. I have to get rid of... Oh, okay. You know what's funny? I don't think I own my favorite figure of all time. I think once I find Optimus, Studio Series 38, I think he will be my favorite figure of all time. Because he's difficult to find. So I'm going to go ahead and answer with that. That might be my favorite figure of all time, but if I don't ever find him, I'm going to have to go with Studio Series Megatron. I, I, I just love that one so much. Holds a little place in my heart. Uh, what character would you like to see in figure form from any line? Um, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ah, ah. Sentinel Prime. I think it would be awesome to see Sentinel Prime in Studio Series figure. I think we said that earlier, yeah. Also, I want to see... What's it called? We have everybody from the first trench. I want to see Studio Series Megatron from the first movie. That's what I want to see. And I want to see Last Night figures. I want to see a Studio Series Optimus Prime from the Last Night or Age of Extinction leader class. Because... I'm not the big of a fan of the leader class figures. I mean, they're good from that time. But, like, if they go that gave me that today, I'd be like, huh? You can do better, Hasbro. Takara, I know you can. <laughs> but, yeah. So, there you go. Hope you, um... Oh, any more questions? What games do I play? Uh, I don't really play video games as much as I used to. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty, a lot of NBA 2K, a lot of Minecraft. I used to play some Fortnite, not really. But now, pretty much all I ever really play is NBA 2K19 and NASCAR Heat. That's all I really play. That's when I have time, though. So, what movie do you want the most from Transformers? Hmm? I think, I think you mean, like... I think you mean the, what's it called? Like, the way... The, 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 the What movie do you want most the most from Transformers. I think you're talking about like the most, like the movies they're talking about that should be coming out. Like the Last Night sequel. Uh, nope. Um, or if we should get like a Bumblebee sequel. I would love to see an Optimus Prime solo movie. Or the Bumblebee sequel should be like a, even a buddy up movie to see what happens after Bumblebee. And hopefully we can get Charlie back. I think that would be really cool. Because I love Charlie's character and Haley Steinfeld did amazing. Alright. Dennis Vasquez again. How do you feel about not having an Optimus Prime movie, but having an Optimus Prime and Bumblebee movie as Bumblebee 2? I just answered that for you, basically. I think it would be absolutely awesome, and I would hope to see the return of Charlie Watson in that movie. Even Memo. That'd be pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, I was kind of disappointed about having not having the Optimus Prime movie, because I think it's complete bullcrap that, uh, I forgot the exec, the producer's name, the, be DeVentura or something like that. I can't stand that guy. He 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 don't know a damn thing. But um, it's bullcrap when you say that you can't do a movie about Optimus Prime. You could you can do a movie about Optimus Prime. All right, here we go. Dennis Vasquez once again. Thank you, man. Can you list three Transformers that you would like to see in the Studio Series line? I already did that earlier. I would love to see Voyager or Leader Class Sentinel Prime. I would love to see a Night version from Age of Extinction or the Last Night. Leader class Optimus Prime. Also, uh, uh, Galvatron. I just thought of that. In Age of Extinction Galvatron or in Age of Extinction Bumblebee would be awesome. 
those are some figures I would love to see in the Studio Series line. Dennis Vasquez. I love the Alfonso Nation. I like everything about him. Every time that he uploads, I get so excited because he's my favorite YouTuber. Awesome. I hope I'll become your favorite YouTuber soon. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, I like Alfonso too. Every time um, I see his post go up, I'm like, hey, join him. <laughs> oh, right. New person. Epic Unicorn 200. What was the first Transformers series that you remember watching? Personally, I grew up watching the Unicorn Trilogy and G1. My dad showed me G1. Who's your favorite Autobot and favorite Decepticon? Love your videos, by the way. Thank you so much. I'm awesome to hear that you love my videos. Uh, my favorite Transformers series that I remember watching is Transformers Animated, but I know I didn't watch that much. And then I remember um, once Prime came out, I was glued like crazy. So yeah, pretty awesome to know that you were um, grew up watching Unicron Trilogy and G1. I wish I would have been able to watch those when they first came out. It was pretty cool. But um, yeah, my favorite Autobot would have to be Optimus Prime or Bumblebee. It's it's so hard, but I think you just have to go with Optimus. Favorite Decepticon. Favorite Decepticon. I love G1 Starscream and Transformers Prime Starscream. I love those Starscream. I'm not that huge of a fan of Starscream from live action films. I just love it mostly when he tries to get Sam. He's like, I love it when you little and six try to run. I always thought that was a little funny thing about him. But yeah, I would have to say probably G1 Starscream and Transformers Prime Starscream. Starscream, my bad. Thank you, Epic Unicorn, for taking your time to ask me a question. All right, guys, here's the last question. This is a very long video. I don't know if I'm gonna upload the whole thing, but um, yeah. Uh, if you're here, if you made it this far, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, I really appreciate that you watched this whole video if you did or if it's split into two parts You still will watch the whole 30-minute video. So yeah guys the last question is once again from our guy Dennis Vasquez Would you like to show us your studio series collection? No, I'm just kidding. Of course. I would love to show you guys my studio series collection, but guess what not in this video You're gonna have to wait and I'm waiting for a certain day. I don't know when that day will be but hopefully it'll be soon in the next month or so. But yeah, um, I would love to show you guys my studio series collection. But we will go ahead and do that in a separate video. So yeah, guys, uh, I just want to go ahead and thank you to everybody. Let's go ahead and go through everybody that commented. One moment. He says I have a different type of great video hyped for, your, for the future of your channel. Thank you very much, GamerFox. Appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and say thank you to everybody that commented. Thank you, Dennis Vasquez. Thank you, Epic Unicorn 200. Thank you, Justin's Productions. Ah. Thank you, Roosevelt Serrano. Thank you, Meg's Productions. Thank you, Edgar Ortiz. Thank you, Mr. Ree. Yo, boy. Thank you. And thank you, Go Get a Blue. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you all for asking a question or multiple questions. I really do appreciate it. And, uh... I know it's been a while since this video was uploaded uh, over a month ago or two, probably. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys really did enjoy the video. Um, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, and I'm going to try my best, guys. I don't know when the next one will be out. I actually went toy hunting today, but I didn't find a damn thing. But um, it, it, it's getting pretty frustrating because, one, I don't even know when Wave 7 is going to drop. And I don't really have that much money since you guys know I bought the car. I have, like, 200 bucks, but you guys got to remember, like, I have other things to buy besides Transformers. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, I, and I don't work at Subway anymore, so it's like, I don't, I just gotta, I'll be getting a job hopefully in two months though, and I got a trip in June that I hopefully will go toy hunting on the road. But yeah guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more Transformers Awesomeness, of course I would do a wave, if you guys want me to do, want me to do the wave 6, uh, ranking without Studio Series Optimus Prime, go ahead and let me know. I will gladly do it if you guys are okay with it. Like I said, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe for more Transforms Optimus, and I will see you in the next one.